What's going on is a uh, rappelling or and or rope team from a combination of Denali National Park rangers as well as engineers slash architects from uh, an engineering and architecture firm called Weiss, Janey, and Elsner, based out of Northbrook, Illinois, uh, will eventually uh, rappel uh, upward and then downward on the Washington Monument grounds uh, in order to assess the a- any damage uh, to the stoneware. What they're looking for are shards or shawls or cracks that could potentially expand in a year or five years from now, ten years from now, uh, which could then break off and then pose uh, any danger to visitors. Okay, We have to ensure the public safety as well as obviously preserve the monument for future generations. The engineering firm, architectural firm, West Janey and Elsner has already told the National Park Service that the Washington Monument is structurally sound. It survived the earthquake of uh, August 23rd. However, there are mortar, pieces of mortar, both on the inside and on the exterior, as well as uh, shards of the marble stone that could potentially fall off. What we need to do is a visual inspection on the interior, which is largely done. And then and obviously what we're going to begin is the exterior visual examination, analysis of any stones that could potentially fall uh, from the exterior. Once that data is gathered, because we're still in the data gathering stage, we then have to pull that information together, and the engineering firm has to pull that uh, information together, analyze it, uh, do uh, uh, mechanical engineering computations on it to make certain that they are really uh, solid and reliable in what they're recommending to the Park Service. They then have to write a report that recommends either one or possible alternative ways in which to repair the monument, well, then the Park Service begins the process of doing the repairs. Once the repairs are complete, we then have to pull the engineering firm back again to recertify that the repairs were in fact done correctly before we can ever open to the public.